10 Secrets Hidden in Famous Monuments Number 10. The Secret Railway Station in New York Hidden beneath the luxurious face of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel lies a lonely little platform. There was only ever one car that went along those rails and only one passenger, if we don't include his entourage in the equation, and that was President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The hotel boasts a presidential suite, which Roosevelt frequently used, and this is exactly where the single car train would take him. There is an elevator directly connecting the station and the hotel, which would have been a huge help for him to avoid the prying eyes of the public. It is known that the president used this private carriage to travel from his presidential suite at the Waldorf to Hyde Park, which was his childhood home. The track was called Grand Central Terminals Track 61, and it played an important role during the years of the war, when it also served as an escape route. Number 9. The Empire State Building's Extra Platform The Empire State Building in New York is one of the biggest tourist traps around. Its observation deck on the 86th floor attracts tons of visitors. It offers up a spectacular view of Manhattan, while the high safety fence offers some much needed reassurance and peace of mind to the many photographers there. For those who want an even more magnificent view, or a bigger dose of adrenaline, there is the top deck on the 102nd floor. Rather than a standard safety fence, this vertigo-inducing spot keeps its occupants safe by keeping them inside, and the view you take in is available only through their very sturdy windows. However, few people know that there is still one higher point to reach. The so-called secret deck is one level up on the 103rd floor and is accessible only to a select few. This tiny little balcony is much less safe than its lower floor cousins. There is only one knee-high ledge with a low railing on it. It's reachable by taking several elevators and finally a tiny metal stairway slash ladder. Number 8. A private apartment on top of the Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is certainly one of the most well-known modern landmarks. Most of the people on holiday who come to admire it from all over the world would probably be very surprised to learn that this symbol of Paris houses secrets of its own. At the very top of the Eiffel Tower, and only recently revealed to the public, lies a secret apartment. This seems somehow natural for the city which many equate with romance, a cozy little getaway among the fluffy clouds. The apartment was built in 1889 by Gustave Eiffel, the engineer who constructed the tower. While he was alive, only he had access to this nest. Nowadays, the apartment has become a monument in itself. It's been restored to its original appearance and creatively given a dash of life by three charming wax sculptures, which are the models of Gustave Eiffel, his daughter, and Thomas Edison, who is known to have occasionally visited the French engineer. Number 7. The Grand Central Terminal Tennis Club This one almost sounds too good to be true. Imagine all the daily hustle and bustle of Manhattan, the traffic jams, the impatient commuters, and then imagine being able to get up and away from all of that for a friendly game of tennis. Grand Central Terminal has, still unknown to most people, housed the Vanderbilt Tennis Club which has served corporate groups and local sports enthusiasts since the 1960s. It includes a full-sized indoor hard court, a fitness room, and a junior court. The club is only open to members, so if you'd like a game there, you'll need to register with the Vanderbilt Tennis and Fitness Club, which can be done pretty easily online. Number 6. The Statue of Liberty's Secret Room the Statue of Liberty is no doubt an icon and a must-see for the millions of tourists that visit the U.S. every season. The highest that a visitor might climb up in the statue is to the crown, from which they're rewarded with a breathtaking view. Now, you might think that the crown is indeed the top of it. After all, it's right on the head. However, there is another little spot hidden higher up inside of the torch. It's been more than a hundred years since it was put off limits, but until June 30th, 1916, the room in the torch could be accessed by tourists and it offered a spectacular panoramic view of the city. However, after a German attack on the pier between Black Tom Island and Jersey City, the debris from the explosion ricocheted up across the city and some of it got stuck inside of the statue's arm, which made the route to the torch room a little too unsafe for tourists. Number 5. The Secret Room in Mount Rushmore 
The four enormous stone heads carved into the side of Mount Rushmore are arguably the most iconic American monument there is. The enormous landmark in South Dakota is annually visited by swarms of tourists and explorers, but its most intriguing attraction has only been revealed recently. Behind the granite copy of Abraham Lincoln is a square stone entrance leading through a rough tunnel to a titanium vault. This is the so-called Hall of Records. The sculptor who designed the monument initially wanted to create a huge image all across the mountain including carvings of several important moments in American history along with the four presidential heads. However, this was too complicated a plan and was eventually scratched. Instead, he was allowed to construct this archive, a hidden storage space for the essential historical documents of the nation. The architect died before his great project was finished and the Hall of Records was abandoned for several decades. It was finally revived, to some extent, in the late 1990s. Several porcelain panels with inscriptions of American history, as well as the biography of the architect, Gutsan Borglum, were placed into the vault and left for some distant future generations to find. Sadly, this intriguing chamber is beyond the reach of tourists. Number 4. A Derelict Ballroom in Melbourne At Flinders Street Station, one of Australia's busiest train stops, there is a little-known nook of complete and eerie silence, a ballroom dating all the way back to 1899. Originally, it was designed to be a Victorian Railways Institute lecture hall to hold staff training and various other events, and this ruined third floor also featured a library, a table tennis room, a gym, a boxing ring, and a billiard room. It actually did host public events in the 1950s and 1960s, but it fell into disuse in the 1980s and was eventually closed off to the public in 1985. It was marked for demolition several times until 2015 when the Victorian government decided to invest 100 million Australian dollars into redeveloping it. The whole project of reviving this derelict segment of the building is scheduled to be completed sometime in 2019. Number 3 the Secret Corridor of Art in Florence. This mysterious passage, which is a kilometer long, is a direct connection between the Uffizi Gallery and the Pitti Palace. The passage has been dated all the way back to 1565. It was created as a commemoration of the wedding of Francisco I and Joanna of Austria and was named Vasari, after the architect who constructed it. Francesco's father ordered this corridor to be made to allow the family to travel more easily and enjoyably between their residence in the palace and the government offices. The construction of it cut right through several medieval towns and many houses, and every butcher nearby was forced to relocate because they offered a look and smell that was offensive to the family. The butchers were replaced by jewelry stores. This passage was richly decorated, featuring art from the 16th and 17th centuries, and served its original purpose for 200 years. Afterwards, the gallery was turned into private property, and the World War II bombings partially destroyed it. It is currently undergoing renovation work, and should be reopened to the public sometime next year. Number 2. The Crystal Palace Subway Station in London the Crystal Palace Station, which dates back to 1865, used to be a regular stop on the city's High Line until 1936 when it was ravaged by a terrible fire. Its connected subway was used as an air raid shelter during the Second World War. Then in 1954, the station itself was closed and demolished in 1961, but the railway was left in one piece. The abandoned walkway was a popular spot for children to go and play, and occasional raves were also thrown here, until the 1990s when it was closed off. The local community has been trying over the past few years to raise funds and reopen it as a tourist attraction. Until then, the Crystal Palace is only open once a year for a guided tour, and the tickets are very limited. Number 1. A Secret Hatch in a Roman Statue Standing proudly at the Leonardo da Vinci airport to welcome travelers from all over the world into Rome, this 60-foot-tall bronze statue of Leonardo da Vinci lived up to the reputation of its model and quietly kept a little secret of its own for 46 whole years. The statue was unveiled in 1960, and nobody knew about this except the people that made it. However, in 2006, when it was time for some renovation work, the workers found a hidden hatch halfway up the statue. Inside, it's reported they discovered two parchments, 
One was a listing of everybody who attended the opening ceremony, and the other was a detailed account of the area's history, written completely in Latin. Have you ever visited any of these monuments? If so, did you know about these secret areas inside? Write about your experience in the comments below and your comment could be featured in our next video. And to see more mysterious, fascinating, or creepy videos, hit our subscribe button and be the first one notified whenever we release new content.